Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my backyard bar. Hope you enjoyed that little performance there by my band, Six and a Half Mexicans, giving you a little Sonora Sun. Want to wish a happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Um, I had a great Father's Day yesterday, and I hope you did too. And in fact, we're going to be incorporating that into the theme of today's show with the pictures that you guys sent me of you and your dad, some really, really nice ones, and some, some special songs for today. So it's going to be a great day. Welcome, everybody. Nice to have you south of the border with me again. I got that green light at the 21K. Now I'm south of the border again. I'll be eating Dorado at the end of the day. South of the border again. South of the border again. And it feels so good, my friend. Tacos, burritos, muchachas, amigos, and sails out on the wind. South of the border again. A beautiful chica greets me with a bed so south of the border again. I traded my dollars for a pocket full of pesos south of the border again. So crack a cerveza, slice up a lime, pour a little salt on the rim. I tossed my watch, now I'm taking my time south of the border again. South of the border again. And it feels so good, my friend. Tacos, burritos, muchachas, amigos, and sails out on the wind. South of the border again. And oh, oh, I'll take the sea and the sun. Oh, oh, heading south's more fun. Oh, oh, I still can't explain it. How one foot across. And it feels so good, my friend. Tacos, burritos, muchachas, amigos, and sails out on the way. South of the border again. It's been too long, now I'm singing this song. Cause I'm south of the border. South of the border. Where do you guys want to be? South of the border again. That's a great spot to have you here with me at my backyard bar today. Welcome, everybody. It's Monday, and that means we're going to have a fun day, doesn't it? I had a wonderful Father's Day yesterday, and uh, from start to finish, it was just a great day. Cheers to all the dads out there. Salud, everybody. So... As we get ready to show you, you guys, along with some of your dads, I'll play a song that goes out to my little girl. She loves this one. She'd be here with me right now, but she's off in her swim class. Her name is Maddie Soul. People often ask me, why'd you name her that? Now, mar means ocean, soul means sun. Just in case you're wondering where her name came from I never thought anything in life could ever be as beautiful As sea and sun together At least until the day she came along Now, oh, 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 oh I love my little mighty soul Up my world. Oh, 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 I love my little muddy soul. Oh, 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 she's just her daddy's girl. Sure, I love my sons. Rough house and fun, but there are things that only daughters do. Now, 
now that pink dress and those little shoes are matching. I can't believe she's already in the fashion. She's gonna break a heart or two. Now, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I love my little mighty soul. Ribbons and her curls. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I love my little Marty so. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. She's just her daddy's girl. She's growing up too fast. And he's day she's prettier than the one before. I. Don't want to think about the day some kid comes knocking on my door. Singing, oh, whoa, 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 I love your daughter, Marty Soul. Oh, whoa, 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 more than anything in this world. in love with mighty soul but oh, 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 oh she'll still be daddy's girl she'll always be her daddy's girl oh, 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 oh I love my little mighty soul going out for my little girl well, I'll tell you what I know. There are a lot of dads out there who feel that way about their little girls, and we're going to sing a song about that very soon here. But uh, very first, I got some neat notes that I didn't expect when, when you guys sent me these pictures. Some of you guys sent me some cool little stories. And if it's okay with you, I'm just real briefly going to share a couple of them today. Um, this first one is actually... Uh, from Jan Rains. Um, Jan is popular here in San Carlos. We love her because she's the one who brings us Barracuda Bobs, where folks like to hang out in their mornings here in San Carlos. That's her dad, Don Reed. Now, that guy just looks like a character. This is a, a note from Jan. She says, you know, we lost our dad, a true gentleman, last year at 105 years of age. How about that? We also had our mother with us until she was 98. Had she lived another six months, they would have been married, get this, guys, for 80 years. Give them a round of applause. Is that awesome? Jan also adds, so the last few years of Dad's life were a little lonely for him. He was an assisted living home, a wonderful one, and all the widows sure had their eyes on him. He was six foot two right until the day he died, always walked tall, no slouching. We miss him so. He was a gentle man. And... Uh, Jan, thank you for sending that. As a little side note, uh, Jan's brother, Bob, lives in San Carlos. That's Barracuda Bob. So, Jan, thank you for sending us your story. All right, let's get you in the mood to come down to San Carlos and visit Barracuda Bob's uh, here in Mexico. I can hear the sound of the music coming across that border line tonight. And I can feel the touch of a young girl gently take my hand underneath the moonlight. Soft frames on a Spanish guitar carry me away. All voices calling as I close my eyes. Think I hear her say. Mexico You've been there on my mind For a long, long time And I know That I just can't Stay away Mexico Like warm white sand And the palm of my hand Gotta go Mexico It's been a while But does she remember is she still waiting there for me? And does 
she ever think about those hot summer nights down by the sea? Distant highways and dusty old roads, you got me crossing the line. Lead me down to where nobody knows, take me back in time, Mexico. You're the one that I love and I can't get enough, Mexico. But you're another world away, Mexico. Those clear blue skies and big brown eyes gotta go, Mexico. I can feel that wind begin to blow. And every time I hear that sound, I know Mexico. You've been there on my mind for a long, long time, and I know that I just can't stay away, Mexico. Like warm white sand in the palm of my hand, gotta go. And I'll be coming back to stay, Mexico. You're the one that I love and I can't get enough, Mexico. But you're another world away, Mexico. Those clear blue skies and big brown eyes gotta go, Mexico. Did that get you in the mood to come on down here or what? Well, if that didn't, let's put you on the beach looking for sand dollars in this next song. My buddy Bob Carwin wrote this one. Congratulations, Bob, on your brand new CD that came out this week. Everybody's working for that almighty dollar, shoving every penny in the bank. Driving round town in the big SUVs without enough dough to fill the tank. Well, I got every dollar that I could ever need in the shallow water on the ground. Anytime I want to be a millionaire, all I got to do is look around. I'll be a sand dollar millionaire. I got everything that I could ever need. Sand dollar Millionaire, I got a million dollars right at my feet. Now I can punch a clock, wear a jacket and tie, try to fit into the fast moving crowd. But no matter how hard I work or how much I save, it could never be better than it is right now. Sand dollar, millionaire, I got everything that I could ever need. Sand dollar. Millionaire, I got a million dollars right at my feet. I got a little place right down by the beach where the sun sets in my backyard. May not have a maid or a 401k, but I never want to work that hard. Sand dollar, millionaire, I got everything that I could ever need. Sand dollar, millionaire, I got a million dollars right at my feet. Everybody help me out. Sand dollar, millionaire, I got everything that I could ever need. Sand dollar. Millionaire, I got a million dollars right at my feet. I got a million dollars right at my feet. I got a million dollars right at my feet. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Bob Carwin, for letting me record that one off the Greetings from Mulligan's Island CD. All right. Well, I'd like to show you another picture of somebody who sent me a nice note, um, and her name is Leslie, Leslie uh, Faunusbeck, 
And she sent, Leslie, if you're out there watching right now, thank you so much for the pictures. See if we can get that up there for you. Leslie Eken, phone effect? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Isn't that a beautiful picture there? Thank you, Leslie, for the note that you sent me. I'm going to just read it to you guys. Um, hey, Mark, here is a picture of me and my dad. It would mean the world to me to have it show up on your show, mostly because I just lost him on April the 19th, and to say the least, it's hard. My dad was my constant north, taught me everything I know about boats, gave me a love of lakes and oceans, of fishing and nature. He was also a wonderful example of absentee parenting long before that was something. Sunday nights without his phone call, it's still strange, and the text joke of the week, well, they weren't always good, but they always made me laugh. Thanks, your fan from Idaho, Leslie. Leslie, thank you very much. I really appreciate notes like this, and uh, I hope you're doing okay with your loss. You know, beautiful pictures of you guys, and you can tell just right there how much you love them. Um, so I'll tell you what, I'd, I'd like to, at this point, I'd like to do a song that is for all the ladies. And later, guys, we're going to get you in here, because I got pictures of the guys with their dads, too. In fact, I got more than one song's worth for the guys. But with the girls, I wanted to give you a really special song. And there's one that I have not ever done in my online show that I sometimes play live. And it's a song written by Kelly McGuire. But I have special memories of this one because right after Marty Soul was born, um, we were doing an event together just days after she was born. And I, th I think that was the first time that Kelly said to me, you know what, why don't you take this song and sing this one? And when we do shows live, we always kind of alternate on this one. Kelly, thank you for letting me sing this song. And uh, all you ladies out there, I hope you, you watch this little video we're going to show you because you'll probably pop up in here. If you don't pop in, in here, we'll get you later on in the show. she was born, her daddy was surprised when they brought her out in pink instead of blue. The quarterback he planned on was a tiny baby girl, but in the blinking of an eye, she was the joy of his world. Winning games gave way to ballet and stage. Story time on his lap while she turned the page. Cause she's daddy's little girl, the apple of his eye. She'll always be his baby that'll never change with time. He'll still be there to calm those raging waters. Nothing quite compares to the love between daddies and daughters. Ballet to basketball, she scored big for the team. He never ever missed a single game she played. Then the doorbell brought a young man with a tuxedo on to take her to her first prom. And on her birthday, she found waiting outside a shiny red convertible that she couldn't wait to drive. Cause she's daddy's little girl, the apple of his eye. She'll always be his baby That'll never change with time He'll still be there To calm those raging waters Cause nothing quite compares To the love between daddies and daughters Before he knew it She was walking down the aisle there was something wet 
trickling down his face. And in a trembling voice, he answered, her mother and I. And then he let her go and slowly walked away. Now she's daddy's little girl, the apple of his eye. She'll always be his baby, even though she's now a wife. She'll still be there to calm those raging waters. Cause nothing quite compares to the love. Nothing even comes close to the love that they share. Nothing quite compares to the love between daddies and daughters. Nothing quite compares to the love. Nothing even comes close to the love that they share. Nothing quite compares to the love between daddies and daughters. You guys are looking good in those pictures, and thank you so much for sending those. And I hope you like that. Um, all the daddies and daughters, and thank you, Kelly McGuire, for that beautiful song. Um, guys, none of you were in that one. We got you coming right up in just a couple of songs. In fact, I've got you guys spread over a couple of songs. Um, but real quickly, I want to say salute to everybody. Cheers. Mm. Who's in the mood to head from this backyard bar to another bar not far from here? I know it's not a bar. It's supposedly a house, but the heck with that. It's, it's a bar. It's Giggles Place. We're going to do it right now. It's called a bar down in Mexico. Well, I have worked my fingers to the bone. Trying to build myself a happy home. But the more I work, the more goes to the man. So now I've got myself a better plan. I'm going to buy me a bar down in Mexico where I can pour the friends I know. A shot or two of fun down by the sea. I'm going to buy me a bar down in Mexico. What else could I ever need but the sun a bar in Mexico Well, I will pack up all my friends one day Head on out to our friend Giggles Place. Everybody give it up for Giggles! I'll be pouring drinks from dusk up till the dawn while we dance the night away with Sonny Jim on. I'm gonna buy me a bar down in Mexico Where I can pour the friends I know A shot or two of fun down by the sea I'm gonna buy me a bar down in Mexico What else could I ever need but the sun a bar in Mexico with me. Well, I'll wake up every morning with nothing on my mind. Pouring margaritas in a palm tree favorite dye. This is your part. I'm going to buy me a what? A bar down in Mexico where I can pour the friends I know. A shot or two of fun down by the sea. 
I'm gonna buy me a bar down in Mexico. What else could I ever need but the sun, a bar in Mexico? What else could I ever need? Senoritas by the sea, the sun, a bar in Mexico, and all the giggles, friends. La 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 la. La 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 la. Come on, sing along. La 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 la. La 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 la. We got the sun a bar in Mexico with me. <laughs> All right. Well, another of the nice notes that I got was from uh, one of the gentlemen watching this show today. Fred, I think his last name is pronounced Waskoff. And uh, we had a neat picture of his, there he is. And his dad, I think, what, second from the, second from the left there, I believe it is. Um, and he says, attached, Fred said this about his father, his dad's Burton. And Fred would like to wish him a happy Father's Day up in heaven. He said, attached is a photo of my dad. He's on the middle left. And that's with his crew taken in early 1944. How about that? Dad was a bombardier with a 557th Bomb Squadron. He flew 73 missions out of uh, Chipping Ongar in the UK, including being in the fourth plane over Utah Beach on D-Day morning. Fred says this about his dad. Those guys were truly the greatest generation. I picked that photo because dad was always so proud of his service and his buddies from the squadron. He attended reunions from their first in 1946, right up until the year before he passed away in 2008. He was president of the Squadron Association for the last 10 or so years. It was always a thrill to travel with him to those events and meet all of those heroes. Is that amazing? 1944. You know what? On your couch, give him a round of applause right now. But man, God bless people like that. Fred, thank you for that nice dedication you gave us uh, for your dad there. I bet he'd be very proud of you for that. I appreciate it too, you sending it. Um, so how about we do a song that my wife Elsa likes a lot. This one kind of reminds her a little bit of her dad. And uh, down the road from here, in a wheat farming town of Navajoa. And it's a song that some of you guys will recognize. Not only have I recorded it, but it's actually the original was done by our friend Hugo Duarte, the late Hugo Duarte. Such a good song, and I'm very grateful that he let me record this one. I was 17 years old, we moved to Tascosa. My daddy was determined to make some dreams come true. I swore I'd never let him down as long as I was breathing. Working dawn till dark, side by side, doing all that we could do. Just to stay alive, just to stay together. We were praying if we worked real hard, we'd see our lives get better. Daddy kept on saying, son, our luck is bound to change. With a good Lord's help, some daylight, and just a little bit of rain. Never rained a single drop and our dreams were bound to fail. It's hard to watch a whole year's crop turn to dust in one dry spell. There was nothing anyone could do, nothing we could say. We just loaded what was left of our lives on a truck and drove away. Trying to stay alive, trying to stay together. We were praying if we worked real hard, we'd see our lives get better. Daddy kept on saying, 
Son, our luck is bound to change With a good Lord's help Some daylight And just a little bit of rain We were down but not defeated all those years ago. Our failures taught me how to reap those seeds my daddy sowed. I woke up this morning, jumped up in my truck, drove out to the farthest field and I turned my collar up. I walked out in that winter wheat and touched it with my hands. And thank the Lord for blessing me with those years with my old man. And for keeping us alive, for keeping us together, for listening to those desperate prayers and making our lives better. Daddy always told me, son, our luck is bound to change. With a good Lord's help, some daylight, and just a little bit of rain. A little bit of rain. A little bit of rain. Mm -hmm. And Fred, that guy in the song sounds like somebody that your dad Burton would have really liked if you asked me. All right. Well, speaking of speaking of dads here, I got another cool story. My friend Mark McGuffin. Mark McGuffin sent me this one. Crime Dog. That's his nickname, but I tell him in Spanish he sounds like a really bad dude when I call him El Perro de Crimen. Mark McGuffin, man, of the Desert Island Band. I hope those guys are doing well. What a fun band. Um, so Mark sent this picture. That's him with his dad, Mac. Man, Mac just sounds like a good guy from the note that you sent us, Mark. Here's what Mark says. He says, you know, I'm very blessed to still have my dad. He will be 98 next month. Give him a round of applause, everybody. He fought the Battle of the Bulge and later helped build what at the time was the tallest structure in the world. And he still has the time and the good health to go fishing with his kid. How about that? We took this at his home in Port Mansfield, Texas last January after catching a nice mess of speckled trout in the Laguna Madre just off Padre Island. Mac, hope you had a great Father's Day. And Mark, thank you for sharing that story with us. Uh, I think that's going to lead us into our next song. And I thought I'd get some of you guys out there in this next one with your dads. If you're a country music fan, if you're a country music fan, I guarantee you're going to know this song. In fact, uh, I sometimes do a, a little church show here in San Carlos, and I, I even throw this song in. You'll see why. Going out for the sons out there and their fathers. I got sent home from school one day with a shiner on my eye. Fighting was against the rules and it didn't matter why. When dad got home, I told that story just like I rehearsed. Then I stood there on those trembling knees and waited for the worst. He said, let me tell you a secret about a father's love. A secret that my daddy said was just between us. You see, daddies don't just love their children every now and then. It's a love without end, amen. It's a love without end, amen. When I became a father back in 2001, 
was no doubt that stubborn boy was just like my father's son. Now when I thought my patience had been tested to the end, I took my daddy's secret and I passed it on to him. And I said, let me tell you a secret about a father's love. A secret that my daddy said was just between us. You see, daddies don't just love their children every now and then. It's a love without end, amen. It's a love without end, amen. Last night I dreamed I died and stood outside those pearly gates When suddenly I realized there must be some mistake If they know half the things I've done they'll never let me in Then somewhere from the other side I heard these words again He said let me tell you a secret about a father's love secret that my daddy said was just between us you see daddies don't just love their children every now and then it's a love without end amen it's a love without end amen daddies don't just love their children every now and then it's a love without end, amen. It's a love without end, amen. One more time. It's a love without end, amen. It's a love without end, amen. It's a love without end, amen. Amen. All right, we, we still got more dads coming up, too, because I couldn't fit all you guys into that song. I got so many responses from you on these pictures. I really, really appreciate that. So stay tuned. I got another one coming right up with you guys starring in it. Aren't you looking good? Come on, admit it. Cheers to you. Well, tienes la foto de, de, de mi papá, no? Look at that. Look at those two characters there. They look like trouble, don't they? That is my dad in the gold shirt there with my late Uncle John. And uh, they had fun together on, on that trip. I know it. And uh, Uncle John's family are all watching today. Hello to you guys. Thank you for sending me that great, great picture, too. Just passed away recently, and what a, what a fun uncle. Um, and just loved his family, loved God. Um, thank you, Mulligan Cousins, for that picture. And, Dad, thank you for all the times in that airplane, 2715 Quebec. Um, I'm going to, in fact, lead into this next song with that. Um, yeah, si puede. This next song kind of involves that plane because my dad, being a, a private pilot back in 1977, before, um, before Arizona had a professional football team, my dad bought season tickets at a very, very fun time for the San Diego Chargers. Great seats, too. But what a great era to be a Chargers fan because they were coming out of a really lousy season. And suddenly, 1977, 78, you guys remember, that's... That's when they caught fire, when Dan Fouts, John Jefferson, Charlie Joyner, Fred Dean, uh, all these characters, and then later to come, guys like uh, Kellen Winslow and Wes Chandler. And I just had so much fun being a Charger fan, and it was really fun for us kids because with most of the time there were seven home games, and at the time we first got those tickets, we had seven kids. And then it became an eight-game home season, and by that point, eight kids Thanks to my parents. So uh, I'm going to go back to those days. 
And even if you weren't a Charger fan, I know there's not many of us Charger fans left, especially after the move they made to L.A. It seems like they lost all their fans. Kind of sad. I'm still a Charger fan. But uh, I don't care what sport or what, fa- uh, what, uh, what you're a fan of. I hope this reminds you of maybe some time with, with your dad going back in time. This one's called Where Did the Days Go? I was Fouts, you were Jefferson A worn out Wilson football in my hands And I can hear the fans As we drove the Chargers downfield on a touchdown drive Till our mom said, wash up, boys. It's supper time. Now, whatever happened to Kevin Winslow and Charlie Joyner, I'd like to know. Whatever happened to my best friend down the road? And where do the days go when they're gone? How many times have I circled that sun? So many questions, but all I really want to know is where do the days go? He married mom and worked hard all his life. Raised eight kids, me, I was number five. I still recall the time when he put a blue and gold ticket in my hand. And we cheered that whole game, just me and my dad. Eating hot dogs and drinking Coke while Air Coryell was putting on a show. Couldn't wait to tell my friends when I got home. Now where do the days go when they're gone? How many days will I circle that sun? Dad said someday, son, we all grow old. Where do the days go? JJ, this is Fouts. Those were the best of times, no doubt. And Dad, thanks for that game. I thought of you one summer day. It was fourth quarter, Chargers first and ten. Rivers fakes and hands to Tomlinson. And someone takes my hand and says, Thanks, Daddy, for the best day of my life. I can't wait to tell my best friend what a real game's like. From Fouts and Joyner to Jefferson to Rivers and Gates and Tomlinson. From season to season, from sons to fathers we go. Where do the days go when they're gone? How many times will I circle that sun? He's asking me questions, but son, I just don't know. I was Fouts, you were Jefferson. 
I worn out Wilson football in my hands. Where do the days go? That one brings back good memories for me. All right, well, I got a buddy out in California who feels about the L.A. Dodgers the way that I feel about what are now the L.A. Chargers. He's, he's got both my teams now. Larry Lugo, I'm jealous. Larry's watching us with Amanda out in Carlsbad, California. Look at that picture right there. That's Larry and Bernardo, but you know what? He would just have you call him Bernie is what Larry says. Um, and that picture right there, uh, these ones here were taken in 1995 during an honor flight to uh, trip to Washington, D.C. Larry says it was a weekend trip with 60 or so World War II and Korean War veterans, and it was a really unforgettable experience uh, for him and his dad. His dad even got to meet Elizabeth Dole on that. I think he just saw a picture of her. Uh, that weekend was the only opportunity uh, that Larry got to see and to listen to him sharing memories with uh, his peers from the war. And the coolest thing of all is Larry says, you know, that for him is the day that his dad became a hero to him. Isn't that awesome? So give it up for Barney Lugo, everybody. Thank you, Barney. Look at that picture there. Tough dudes. Uh, Larry and Amanda, thank you so much. Uh, Larry and Amanda are great people. They're spending more time here in San Carlos now. And... uh, I've, in fact, I've sung at their home in Carlsbad, California, and someday I'm going to get back out there and do that again. Um, hey, I want to. Well, let me do a song about this little beach town right here. Life in a beach town. Let's do it. Service traps are hopping, the bayfront bars are rocking, and it's barely even new. Yeah, won't you listen to the tunes? The bands all sound like Buffett. The out-of-towners love it when that steel drummer takes the stage, because he's a legend in this place. The whole crowd is swaying to a reggae sound. Oh, la, la, life in a beach town. The local folks have seen it all. They remember when this place was small. But man, all that has changed. So we grumble and complain about the college kids with fake IDs, the traffic jams and the crowded streets and those high-rise hotels. But that's what pays the bills. And come Monday morning, they'll all be gone. Oh, oh, la, la, life in a beach town. So hang a close side on the door. We're locking up this little store Cause outside it's 85 degrees Maybe a little warmer than that So I grab my fins and my fishing gear Let's hit the beach and get out of here Cause I feel the need for sand beneath my feet Pete breaks out an old guitar He bought it from a guy in a bar By the name of Shrimper Joe For 20 bucks and six to go. A crowd starts a foreman. They got Coke and Captain Morgan. And Pete's known to have a few. Yeah, but you're up at barbecue. Cause it's volleyball and blenders all day long. Oh, oh, la, la. Life in a beach town.
And now the Pelicans, they're putting on a show for the big yachts and the charter boats and those sailors out harnessing the breeze. And all the sunburned fishermen just trying to reel that big one in. Now it's a, a crazy life out past the reef. Now there's a painted sky beyond the pier. So before we head on out of here, let's raise our glasses to the sea and make a toast to you and me. We all applaud as the golden sun goes down. Oh, oh, la, la. Come on, everybody. Oh, oh, la, la. Oh, oh, la, la. Life in a beach town. down to visit me in this awesome little beach town of San Carlos, Sonora, Mexico. Give me a second. I'm hopping over that way where I have a piano set up. And I'm going to play you a couple songs that I have never, ever played for you uh, in any of my shows, ever. So this is scary for me. Okay, here I am. Hey, I uh, want to apologize. I know we had some technical difficulties for about 30 seconds there. Uh, so thanks for bearing with us. I think we're back in action now. Um, well, like I said, uh, I'm going to play you a song that I've never played before. This goes back to uh, my Back to Laid Back album. And there's a lot of songs on that album that I don't often get a chance to play. It's actually my favorite album of the whole bunch. It was just a little more mellow than my other stuff. But this was kind of a fitting song. Okay. So here we go. This one's just called Son. And by the way, I, I don't know about other fathers out there, but hey, I was young once. I did all kinds of stupid, crazy things. And I, I don't know about you. I'm really glad that Facebook did not exist when, when I was in high school and college. Or There's no way you guys would be even putting up with me. Seriously, so I think that as I sing this next song. Son, I think it's time you heard the song. Your life has just begun, and I hope you don't repeat the stupid things I've done. Just like you, I once was young. I was crazy, I was dumb, and not half as bright as you, son. I should have known one day there'd be some questions. Guess that day has finally come. You want to know about all I did way back when? Back before you ever came along But son There are those who think they know me But they got just part of the story Not the one you're hearing now Son up, things I wish I'd never done, mistakes I've made along the way, thank God I'm where I am today, who knew I'd ever get the chance to say, you're my son, and 
And I'll try not to disappoint you I see both of us have grown Since the day you came along So You make me better than I am Did you know that you're my best friend So My little boys aren't little boys anymore. Uh, Marcos is 19 years old. You saw him there in the video, and he's up in Alaska right now and just doing great. I'm hoping he's watching today. Hi, Marcos. Um, and Luis is 15 years old now, going, just graduated the other day uh, from secondary school, going to high school. Jose is nine years old. He's got a birthday coming up in August. And uh, so they were the stars of that little video right there. Uh, this next song takes me down to Puerto Morelos, the other side of Mexico. We got down there to take a little detour from San Carlos. And uh, we spent a year and a half down there back in 2010. And when we first got there, we had, you know, we had heard about how it's always sunny and warm and all this. We got there in the first month. We just froze our butts off. And we were starting to wonder, is it always freezing cold here in, in the Cancun area? We quickly found out we were wrong about that. But this song takes me back to those very first few days. I'd like to send this one out for giggles. She likes this one a lot. I've never played this song live. So that's my disclaimer. This might totally suck. Okay, it's pouring rain. I heard you say what a miserable afternoon. The roof is leaking all over the place. You're sick and tired of the weatherman's face. No doubt you see better. Miserable afternoon. My God, take a look at this mess. Makes me want to say, What a beautiful, miserable afternoon. Ain't it awful? Awful perfect for a party or two. The kids are gone. It's just me and you. Beautiful, miserable afternoon. Okay, power's out. Huddle up with a blanket and a bottle of wine. Pop the cork, baby, here's to you. I think you're thinking what I'm thinking too. Ain't nothing else that I'd rather do on a miserable afternoon. It's a beautiful, miserable afternoon Perfect for a rainy day rendezvous Let's improvise if that's what we gotta do have a beautiful, miserable afternoon. Just pop a battery in the radio and find a station playing something slow and dance with me across the kitchen floor on this miserable afternoon. hope it rains a week or two so don't go telling me the storm is through don't want the sun to shine anytime soon and in this beautiful afternoon what a beautiful miserable afternoon Had a 
it right up to the very end there. Second to last chord always messes me up. All right, I'm going to do a, one more song on the piano here. I like to shake things up every week, as you can tell, and it's kind of important to challenge yourself every now and then on these things and maybe scare the hell out of yourself. Angela Pacheco is watching us in New Mexico with Carlos and with Lois. I want to say hi to them. They tune in every single week, except for last week. They weren't able to, and they missed when I played this song. I usually try not to play songs two weeks in a row, but what the heck, they're VIP. I'm going to make an exception. But what I thought I would do is, since last week I played it on guitar, I'll play this one on piano, which I've never done before. And um, it's one off the Bar in Mexico CD. And Angela, I hope you like how this one turned out. Uh, Eso es la carpeta de tu ¿no? Friend of mine said, man, you mellowed out. You're not as wild as you once used to be. He said, come back to the city. I said, come down to the sea. Now his skin's a little darker, and he's sounding more like me, you see. I've been mellowed by a sunrise that greets me on an early Sunday.
going out for Angela, Carlos, and Lois in New Mexico. Thank you guys for tuning in week after week. Back to the guitar I go. <laughs> All right. Is everybody having a good time out there? I really am. Um, All right, we're going to head up to Rocky Point right now, where I met a whole bunch of you guys years ago in a really, really dumpy bar. I won't get into the details right now, but I'm going to take you there in this next song. Who's in the mood to do a little drink in Mexico dry out there? Spring breakers with salt shakers Chasing every shot with a lime Old geezers and gold diggers It's amazing what money can buy They're all drinking Mexico dry Dancing on the tables and falling on the floors All drinking Mexico dry And I wish that they would just go home He dumped his wife in Casa Grande, ain't seen his kids in a year. He's 45, she's 19, hey baby, can I buy you a beer? Now he's drinking Mexico dry, expatriated from the red, white, and blue. Now he's drinking Mexico dry, and he wishes he could just go home. They'll always tell you, don't drink that water, but this ain't what they mean. They call the culture intoxicated. I look around and all that I see are underage, white trash, playing king for a day, screaming, hey, waiter, speak English. Can't you see I'm from the USA? They're all drinking Mexico dry One tequila, two tequila, three tequila floor They're all drinking Mexico dry And I wish that they would just go home He wants to live la vida loca he wants to really get wild Another shot in Vacation's over Now he's here for a while Cause he got hammered He's got nailed They threw his butt in the can And now it's Please God they Get me out and I'll never drink tequila again Yeah right No more Drinking Mexico dry. He's finally learning how to say no more. No mas. Drinking Mexico dry. And he wishes he could just go home. Yeah, I wish that they would just go home. Skanky folks with rum and cokes. I wish that they would just go home. All right, speaking of drinking Mexico dry, Elsa, maybe I could talk you into refreshing this little drink of mine. And you guys at home, I hope you're doing the same thing. Let me pass this off to her. Si, ocupa hielo. Me das una de botron? She makes me feel like a rock star. I have personal bar service here. I want you to come down and visit me here at my backyard bar. Are you going to do that? All right, well, this is a, another one that I thought I would play you today. You haven't heard me do this one. Um. Uh, 
What a special song. Harry Chapin fans out there, this goes out for you. My child arrived just the other day. He came into the world in the usual way, but there were planes to catch and bills to pay. He learned to walk while I was away. He was talking for I knew it, and as he grew, he said, I'm gonna be like you. Yeah, you know I'm gonna be like you. And the cats in the cradle and the silk spoon, little boy blue and the man in the moon. When you're coming home, Dad, I don't know when, but we'll get together then, yeah. We're gonna have a good time then. Sun turned ten just the other day I said thanks for the ball that come on let's play can you teach me to throw I said not today I got a lot to do he said that's okay but his smile never dimmed as he walked away he said I'm gonna be like him you know I'm gonna be like him and the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon little boy blue and the man in the moon when you're coming home, Dad, I don't know when But we'll get together then, yeah We're gonna have a good time then When he came from college just the other day So much like a man I just had Son, I'm proud of you. Can you sit for a while? He shook his head, then he said with a smile, What I'd really like, Dad, is to borrow your car keys. See you later, can I have them, please? And the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon. Little boy blue and the man in the moon. When you're coming home, son, I don't know when. But we'll get together then, yeah. We're gonna have a good time then. Well, I long since retired, my son's moved away. I called him up just the other day. I said, I'd like to see you if you don't mind. He said, I'd love to, Dad, if I could find the time. You see, my new job's a hassle in the kids of the flu. But it's sure nice talking to you, Dad. It's been sure nice talking to you. As I hung up the phone, it occurred to me he'd grown up just like me, the boy was just like me, and the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon, little boy blue and the man on the moon, when you're coming home dad I don't know when, but we'll get together then, yeah, we're gonna have a good time then. Great song. I love that whole generation of writers. Harry Chapin, Cat Stevens, Jim Croce, James Taylor, all those guys. What amazing writers. So, hey, I know that we've got some requests coming in. Uh, Elsa's manning that. Uh, let's throw one in there right now. Elsa, Kate, Dan Kate Daniels. Okay, yeah, yeah, lo hicimos. Oh, okay. Let me do one song in front of it. From my Marcos up in Alaska? Oh, good. My kid just made a request from Alaska. ¿Cuál canción? I don't know that one. But I'll tell you what, I got Marcos' request coming right up. I just mentioned Jim Croce, and uh, he's a fan of a Jim Croce song I'll play for you. Uh, but first... I think we need to do some guacamole. 
because some of you guys are out there right now and you're eating guacamole. I get this message from a lot of you that you enjoy my show with guacamole. I'm assuming the appetizer we're talking about here. So I need you at home to help me out. We've even got some visual aids for you on today's songs. Thanks to my producers. Uh, appreciate them. Pablo and Anais doing a great job on the camera today. Who out there is ready for some guacamole? Here we go. I met her at the Mercado. She was buying avocados. And man, she really turned me on. She reached for my pepper, and I grabbed her tomatoes. I knew it wouldn't take very long. She walked up to La Mesa. She picked up some cerveza. So I picked up some onions and limo. And the way she looked at me, man, I could clearly see that it wouldn't take very long. Guacamole! Guacamole! We'd be making guacamole all night long. Come on, everyone, help me. Guacamole! Guacamole! We'd be making guacamole all night long. Oh, yeah! Walked up to the light, I fell in right behind, and man, she sure looked good to me. She reached for her money, I said, wait a minute, honey, I believe this one is on me. We got in my pickup, we started to pack up, we headed on down the road. We went into her casa, we ate tortillas de masa, and we made guacamole all night long. Guacamole, guacamole, we were making guacamole all night long. Guacamole, guacamole, we were making guacamole all night long. Here we go now, guacamole, guacamole. Haciendo guacamole toda la noche Guacamole Guacamole We were making guacamole All night long Now, folks, that is high production there. Give it up for Pablo and Anais. <laughs> this is just busting the budget on this show right here. Um, Necesito que, que yo mueva por la luz. No, oh, está bien? Yeah, por la luz. Yeah. Okay. 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 Cool. All right. This is tasting good on a nice warm day. I hope it's beautiful weather wherever you are. You know, I'd really hoped to sing up in Pine Top, Arizona, on July the 11th. Unfortunately, that show had to be canceled with all the stuff going on up there in Arizona. But don't worry about it because I'm still going to be getting up there. The big Parrot Grande event, August 28th, that one should still be going forward. And don't forget that uh, we are going to Isla Mujeres, a beautiful little island uh, off Cancun. Really easy to get to, really cheap to get to. I'm going there with Kelly McGuire and Sonny Jim um, in early October. You can get all that info on my website at markmulligan.net. Also want to mention to you that Sonny Jim, he, do, he does the same thing I'm doing right here. He does a, a really, really fun online show. And he does one on uh, tomorrow night, as a matter of fact, with John Patty. And he, John Patty's an incredible steel uh, pan player. You ladies are going to especially love John Patty because he's like the sexy guy in trop rock. I can't stand this guy. Uh, so that's on the Sunny Jim music page. Uh, if you get a chance after this show to go over there, you'll enjoy Sunny Jim tomorrow night. And he also does a Friday show of just him with all requests. Freak him out and request a Mark Mulligan song, okay? So that's on the Sunny Jim music page, and uh, I hope you'll tune in and check him out. All right. um, Marcos, up in Alaska, is doing great. 
Can't believe the money he's making up there. Uh, he's working at a fish processing plant, working long, long hours. Some days I think he's doing 16, 17 hours. I think he's doing this like six days a week. Overtime is huge money. It's like 21 bucks an hour. The overtime, his lodging is covered, his food's covered. I'm hoping he gets me a job up there. If you don't see me next Monday, I'll be up in Alaska cutting off fish heads or something. All right? This song goes out for Marcos. He's a big fan of this one. And this, well, this one kind of unites us since Jim Croce was what first got me into playing this guitar in the first place. It's kind of neat to see my kid now getting in this very same song himself. And I know you guys like this one a lot too. If I could save time in a bottle The first thing that I'd like to do Is to save every day Till eternity he passes away Just to spend it with you If I could make days last forever And words could make wishes come true I'd save every day like a treasure And then again I would spend it with you but there never seems to be enough time to do the things you want to do once you find them. I looked around enough to know that you're the one I want to go through time If I had a box just for wishes and dreams that had never come true, the box would be empty except for the memories of how they were answered by you. But there never seems to be enough time to do the things you want to do once you find them. Looked around enough to know That you're the one I want to go through time with Es que estoy aquí buscando en el ayer Lo que no encuentro hoy El tiempo en una botella para acudir a ella cuando quiera. No, there never seems to be enough time to do the things you want to do once you find them. I looked around enough to know that you're the one I want to go through time with. Going out for my kid in Alaska. Marcos, thank you for the request. Uh, I'm going to send one out right now for my dad. This is his favorite song that I do. It's a song that was inspired off a bumper sticker. I think you know where I'm going with this. And you see just the title of the song is a true story. Because it's called Jesus Loves You. First you stiff the waitress, then you slam the door. You backed into a Buick, and then you blew on down the road. 
I wonder what were you thinking as you took off down the block, screaming like a madman and flipping people off. Just about then I thought I'd seen it all. Until I saw that big old sticker on the back of your car. And it said, Jesus loves me. And I did a double take. I can't speak for our Savior, but there's got to be some mistake. Now this ain't from the gospel. No, you won't hear this at church. Jesus loves you. The rest of us think you're a jerk. Maybe you just woke up on the wrong side of the bed. So you're having a bad day, huh? Well, get over it. Maybe your mama didn't love you. Your gal dumped you or the job's driving you insane. Go ahead, shout out to the Lord, but quit screaming his name in vain. There you go, cussing out the traffic cop. I bet God's looking down, begging you to please shut up. As you say, Jesus loves me. Dude, I've actually got some doubts. Take a good look at the good book. This ain't what it's all about. Now here's a revelation. Take it for what it's worth. Jesus loves you. The rest of us think you're a jerk. He said he came for sinners. Man, you're his kind of guy. But now I look into the mirror. Uh-oh. And by God, I realize. Who am I fooling, thinking I'm better than you? Yeah, Lord, forgive me. I know not what I do. Because just like you, I say, Jesus loves me. And I know that's true. Even when I don't get just what he sees in you. How can I point my finger like you're the big sinner when I just might be the worst? Hey, thank God. Jesus loves me. Even when I'm a jerk. Now I hope we both make it to heaven. I just pray you get there first. Jesus loves you. Hey, one more time, because it's true. Jesus loves you. Hey, gang, let's just leave it at that. Going out for my dad, that's uh, his favorite song of all of those that I do. Pablo, a lo mejor mejor que no más usamos esta cámara por la luz. Sí, si quieres yo doy la vuelta. Give me one second. I'm going to aim over to you guys now. Yeah, we're going to do a quick visual change here. I'll try más pedidos o no. Oh, okay. Who, who asked for that song? Okay. Okay. Well, we got a couple of requests. Está bien o la luz está en mi cara? No sé si es mejor si lo hacemos aquí. Give us one second here, guys. Porque mira la luz en mi cara, ¿no? No sé si... No, está bien. Yo puedo aquí. Give us one second, guys. Está bien así? That's probably better. We're going to move around because the light keeps changing here. All right. Okay, got a couple of requests to get to. All right. Um, so the Kenny Chesney song that you asked for was by who? Was that? The, the, the Kenny Chesney? They can. They can. They can. Sharon Foster. Sharon Foster would like to hear a song. Let me see if I can do this one. A second, give me, give me like ten seconds to learn this. Hold on. Yeah, hold on, I think I just learned it. I'm gonna give it a shot. Kenny Chesney, please don't sue me if this sucks. I hear you're doing pretty well on money, so.
Sharon, I'm going to give it a shot. Old Joe's got a Boston waiter. He got in Key Biscayne. He swears since the day he got her, she's been nothing but a pain. But when the wind's in his face and the sun's on his back, it's just him in the weed. He wouldn't trade a minute for the way it makes him feel boats. Vessels of freedom. Harbors of healing boats. Up in Newport, where Tom hung his hat, till he met his wife Joan. Now forty feet of sail and tea. Is where old Tom calls home. He watched his life pass before his eyes in the middle of a hurricane. Came out alive on the other side. That's where the other side got a name. Boats. Vessels of freedom and harbors of healing. Forty years of a landlocked life is more than Tom can take. Sitting there alone at his desk alone, he said, this can't be my fate. Went home that night and he told his wife, you can tell all your friends. It's been real, but it ain't been fun. Gotta get me one of them. Vessels of freedom, harbors of healing boats. Vessels of freedom and harbors of healing boats. Sharon, I hope that was okay for you. Um, all right. I'm curious, Elsa, who uh, wanted to hear this next song? Sweet Baby James or Jimmy? Linda. Okay. I'm going to do both of those. I mentioned a moment ago that uh, I'm huge into the generation, as you guys could probably guess from the way I play guitar and all. I'm big into Jim Kochi and Cat Stevens and Harry Chapin and America and all those kinds of groups. I know a lot of you guys are too. Um, James Taylor, wow. Saw him live. Anyone who's seen James Taylor live can tell you what an amazing show that is to watch. Um, let me try this one out. Um, going out for Linda Cunningham. Hi, Linda. Are you up in Colorado now? Oh, this is one all of you guys can sing along to. James Taylor classic. There is a young cowboy who lives on the range. His horse and his cattle are his only companion. He works in the saddle and he sleeps in the canyons, waiting for summer, his pastures to change. 
the moon rises, he sits by his fire, thinking about women and glasses of beer, closing his eyes as the doggies retire. Sings out a song which is soft but it's sweet, as if maybe someone could hear. You guys ready? He sings good night, you moonlight ladies. Rock a by sweet baby James. Deep greens and blues are the colors I choose. Won't you let me go down in my dreams? And rock a by sweet baby James. Now the first of December was covered with snow. So was the turnpike from Stockbridge to Boston. And all the birches seemed dreamlike on account of that frosting. But ten miles behind me, and ten thousand more to go. There's a song that they sing when they take to the highway. Song that they sing when they take to the sea. A song that they sing of their home in the sky. Maybe you can't believe it if it helps you to sleep. But singing works just fine for me. So good night, you moonlight ladies. Rock a bye, sweet baby Jane. Deep greens and blues are the colors I choose. Won't you let me go down in my dreams and rock a by sweet baby James? Everybody, good night, you moonlight ladies. Rock a by sweet baby James. Deep greens and blues are the colors I choose. Won't you let me go down in my dreams and rock a by sweet baby James? Rock a by sweet baby James. Rock a by sweet baby James. Going out for Linda Cunningham. Linda, miss you guys. All right, got a request for this next song. Elsa McKinnis. Gene Motal. Gene, yeah, Gene. Thank you, Gene, for the request on this next one. Gene, I think you're also a Tom Shepard fan, and uh, so am I, of course. What a treat to do this next song together as a duet. Uh, the title track of one of my CDs right here. Esta canción si tiene instrucciones es Same Beer. Same Beer, está bien? While my video guy's getting all set up. Tom Shepard, uh, I hope you're doing well. I just, got, I just saw some great pictures of... Your kids up there in Idaho, and it looks like you're having a good summer. All of us independent artists, of course, we're all having to change our game plan up. But, man, thanks to people like you watching today and letting your friends know about it. You guys are keeping us alive, and it means the world to me. It means a lot to my family, and I know to all the other artists out there. Um, thank you for doing that. Thanks for letting us come into your homes with these songs. You know, you can find me on Monday nights uh, at 5 o'clock. I'm going to keep doing this as long as you guys will let me. So, um, uh, all right. Ya listos. Okay. This is uh, that duet with me and Tom Shepard, title track one of my CDs. Let's sing this one together. The old man drank a beer every now and then. One day we cried a couple, just me and him. At 80 years old, all the stories he could tell you About his long friends from France to Venezuela He said I swick fosters with Aussies And Guinness in an Irish pub A Shiner Bach and Looking Bach And Buddy, sure enough, it's all a Same beer, different can Just different labels, different brands. But the more you sip, the more you understand. It's all the same beer, different can.
My pal Tom Shepard played a tour overseas. Singing for all our folks stationed in the Middle East at the ambassador's home right there in Riyadh. He sang a special song he'd written about his dad. And when the show was over, he was loading up his band. This guy walked up to Tom and stuck out his hand. He said, that song about your father really meant a lot to me. Cause I just lost mine and you described him perfectly. Now that man had on a white robe. He wore sandals on his feet. He had a gutra on his head. And man, it ain't that hard to see. We're all the same beer, different can. Just different labels and different brands. more you sip, the more you understand. We're all the same beer, different can. Now the old man said, I believe God's going to get a good laugh. But we learn all of us, buds and millers and land sharks and coors and even Pabst are all the same beer, different can. Just different labels, different brands. But the more you sit, the more you understand we're all the same beer, different can. The more you sit, the more you understand. We're all the same beer, different can. Thank you, Gene, for the request on that one. Um, we, we got more coming in. Okay. Okay. Mike is out there. I, I'll try that one out. I don't know what song. Is. Okay. Ask him if he wants to hear one of my one of my, one of my songs. Well, Mike Wingem, thank you uh, for tuning in as you always do. I know you just picked up one of my complete sets lately, so surprised you're not totally sick of my music by now. You'd like to hear a Gordon Lightfoot song. Any Gordon Lightfoot fans out there? I can see you laying back in a faded room In a room where you do what you don't confess Sundown, you better take care If I find you've been creeping round my back stairs Sundown, you better take care If I find you've been creeping round my back stairs I can picture every move that man would make Getting lost in her loving is your first mistake Sometimes I think it's a shame When I get feeling better when I'm feeling no pain Sing it now Sometimes I think it's a shame When I get feeling better when I'm feeling no pain
can see her lying back in her faded jeans. She's a hard loving woman, got me feeling me. Sometimes I think it's a sin when I feel like I'm winning when I'm losing again. Sometimes I think it's a sin when I feel like I'm winning when I'm losing again. I can see her lying back in a faded dress In a room where you do what you don't confess Sometimes I think it's a sin When I feel like I'm winning when I'm losing again Sometimes I think it's a shame When I get feeling better when I'm feeling no pain Sundown, you better take care If I find you've been creeping round my back stairs Sundown, you better take care If I find you've been creeping round my back stairs Mike, I hope you like that Gordon Lightfoot song. All right. Uh, my friend, Charlie DeClaire, usually watches me with uh, Claudia and with David and Jenny in Virginia. But I know that uh, he's off with the sun right now, Chip. And they are in the Outer Banks. And Charlie, in case you're watching from Outer Banks tonight, I'm going to send this one out because, Chip, I know you and your brother, Dave, are both fans of this next song. Thanks for sticking with me all the years you guys have. Uh, the song is technically called The Harbor, but nobody calls it that. Everybody calls the song Fish Out of Water. Long ago and far away, back on graduation day, they said he had this wild little scheme. To haul a boat down to the bay, hop aboard and sail away, chance it all and chase some crazy dream. No house, no wife, no kids No better time than this But they shook their heads and they said What's wrong with you? So the story goes That boat sailed on And left him on the dock alone He watched as it faded out of view It all looked so good there on that resume When he told them all Just what they want to hear now it's Monday morning, 8 a.m. He sits there in that traffic jam. Brake lights as far as he can see. Just to walk into some cubicle with eight hours of time to kill where every day is just the same routine. It's all so predictable, so safe, so sensible, so logical, it's driving him insane. A year's worth of aggravation for a lousy week of paid vacation, medical and a 401k. They all say he made the right decision on the day he watched that boat disappear. But in a conference call one day it finally hit him. What in the world am I still doing here? You guys ready? Sometimes I feel like a fish out of water Baby, can't you see That the safest place for a boat is in the harbor But that's not the place where boats were built to be And after 30 years he's thinking about Cashing in and getting out But the wife says, hey buddy, not so fast Big house is comfortable To quit now ain't practical Let's pay some bills and let's make that money last He said I'm tired of putting dreams on hold I'm getting bored, I'm getting old I'm in the mood for a little mystery We're surrounded by so much stuff 
Don't you think we've had enough? Let's do something stupid, you and me. She looked at him and said, you're going crazy. And he answered, yeah, I've been saying that for years. And she said, there's just one thing. Could you explain to me? What in the world are we still doing here? Because sometimes I feel like a fish out of water. Baby, can't you see that the safest place for a boat is in the harbor? But that's not the place where boats were built to be. Now on the day they put that boat into the water, before they left the whole world in their wake, he took one last long look over the harbor and said, this is one chance I just got to take. And sometimes I feel like a fish out of water. Baby, can't you see that the safest place for a boat is in the harbor? But that's not the place where boats were built to be. Sometimes I feel like a fish out of water. Baby, can't you see that the safest place for a boat is in the harbor? Well, that's not the place where boats were built to be. Well, that's not the place where boats were built to be. Going out for the Leclairs. All right. Salud, everybody. Elsa Laura. Uh, let me just go over time just a little bit because I know Elsa would like to hear a song. Uh, I'm going to say it. Tal vez la próxima semana, pero dile que la puedo aprender para la próxima semana. I'm going to try this one out. Elsa uh, mentioned me, you know, we got a lot of notes from people whose uh, parents, whose fathers that they sent us pictures of are no longer with us. And she, she uh, it brought to mind this song for her that she really likes a lot. And I don't know, maybe it, I know Eric Clapton, he wrote this one about his son when he lost his son. Um, but I don't know, maybe this will remind you a little bit of your dad. So going out for Elsa over here. Would you know my name if I saw you in heaven? Would it be the same? If I saw you in heaven I must be strong And carry on Cause I know it don't be long Here in heaven Would you know my name if I saw you in heaven? Would it be the same if I saw you in heaven? I must be strong and carry on. Oh, I know. I don't be long here in heaven. Time can break your heart, time can bend your knees. Time can break your heart and leave you begging, please.
I must be strong and carry on Cause I know I don't belong here in heaven And I know there'll be no more tears in heaven Applause for my wife over there. Hey, real quickly. Um, I'm only going to do one more song. This has been a, a really neat night. I want to thank all of you guys for participating as you have. Uh, next Monday, I'll be back again. I'm actually doing a live show next week, but it's a private, a private event up in the States. And I'm going to be taking uh, two of my kids, Jose and, and uh, Luis, with me. So that'll be kind of interesting to actually sing for actual human beings again. But uh, it's going to probably freak me out. I'll be, oh, wow. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. I want to thank Karen Stewart and Ron Halverson. They are the folks behind Seaside Relief. There's Karen right there. That's Karen with her mom and dad. Karen is a huge part of San Carlos. She has been for many, many years now. And, in fact, even during the coronavirus thing, um, she's been making face masks and just giving them away to anybody who needs it. Uh, Karen and Ron have both been so good to my family, and they've helped to keep these shows going. Uh, they've put me and my family up in those beautiful Pelican Beach condos. You know what? I think, I think in, these, in the coming weeks, maybe next week or the following week, I'm going to do a show from one of those condos instead of my backyard bar. It's getting a little warm, so I'm going to do it from the air-conditioned uh, beachfront view of Pelican Beach, and we'll show you that condo so you know what I'm talking about. Who knows? Maybe you'll want to come down and stay there. Karen and Ron, thank you for all you do at Seaside Realty. Uh, do me a favor, everybody. Go buy a house from those folks. All right. Also, um, I don't have it with me right now. Um, I usually have it here as a prop. But you can get my entire, there it is right there. You can get my entire set of music. You've been hearing a lot of the songs today. Um, and spe instead of spending $13 per CD, you can get like 13, 14 albums, including my gospel-flavored one, Rising Sun, all of them on the complete set. It's called Play Some Mark Mulligan, and it's awesome. We've been doing it on sale this summer. Instead of $69, which is already a screaming deal, 49 bucks that includes the shipping. We've got some of those up in the States, and we'll ship it to you immediately. If you've enjoyed the music today, or if you would like to send one of these to a friend, they're really not. You can stick it in a regular mailing envelope, and or we can just sell, send it directly to them if you'd like. Forty-nine bucks, you get everything from my oldest songs, which you heard a whole bunch of last week, to my newest ones, and um, it's a really convenient way to have them all in one place. And a lot of your cars don't have CD players anymore, so this works out perfect if you happen to have a USB player. You can stick this thing in your laptop, and you can even watch videos of things like Six and a Half Mexicans, which started off today's show. So I hope you'll pick up one of those. Forty-nine bucks, uh, free shipping, the complete set. And thank you so much for all of your support. I'm going to do one more song. And speaking of thanking you for your support, that's what the song is all about, actually. The name of the song is Thank You, and I mean it. Thank you. Each one of you watching today means the world to my family and me. This is off the same beer, different can album. I was reading about this rock star, griping about his fans, how he's sick and tired of signing autographs, how people. Asking for pictures is such a total pain. I thought of you guys, and I raised my glass. Cause I've sung in your backyards and had you jumpstart my car. As the circus show moves from town to town. I've slept on your couches and helped you polish off your rum. And through the years, one thing I found. We keep it real, man, that's our deal. 
And it's been that way ever since the start You share so much of you And I try to do the same Every time I pick up this guitar Now, writing songs, that's what I do And I wrote this one to say thank you Thank you For putting up with me Thank you Cause who knows where I'd be <laughs> Probably unemployed or in jail So thank you now We've shared a lot of good times We've had a lot of laughs Then you stuck with me when things got real bad you even showed up on my doorstep with home-cooked meals as I learned how to be a single dad. Then you cheered me on when God came along and brought a brand new love into my life. There she is. Now we partied on the beach as one big family on the day that Elsa became my wife. That superstar might think he's pretty cool But me, I simply say thank you Thank you Time and time again, thank you Cause he may have fans, but I got friends Some old, some brand new Thank you When the show is over, you help me load my gear. Then I buckle up and I head on down the road. Exactly where it's going to lead is anybody's guess. I just want to say one thing before I go. Thank you. I'm grateful as can be. Thank you for letting this boy live his dream. Cause there's nothing else on earth I'd rather do Thank you For just being who you are Thank you For letting my music be a part Of your lives the way that you guys do Thank you And this little song's the least that I can do to thank you. I mean it, guys. Thank you. I'll be back again next Monday. Same time, same channel. Thank you, Pablo and Anais, for running the video today. Thank you, Seaside Realty. God bless all of you guys. And I hope everybody had a great Father's Day. Take care.